Okay, you've always been a super chill, positive, generally stress-free person, even though you've been through some difficult things. You always overcame stuff. But you always had this problem where you don't really express your emotions a lot. And you were a lone sufferer. Okay. Okay, so you always overcame stuff, but not really. At least not letting it out. And last year you had some relationship problems and health problems. Overtired, lacking sleep, burnout from work. And all those things triggered anxiety, yeah. Anxiety is basically your body telling telling you going off like danger, danger, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at some like there's something you're not looking at. That's anxiety. Or anxiety is like always needing to be one step ahead of yourself. Because if you didn't, if you're not one step ahead of yourself, you're gonna connect to yourself. And if you connect to yourself, you're gonna discover this whole backlog of unprocessed things and that's why you're anxious you're always looking in front because if you look back it's gonna be boof. for over a month i couldn't leave my bed felt like crying all the time so this is the 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 backlog catching up to you it's all it's your body telling you sarah stop like you need to process all of this stuff before moving on you can't pull this behind you and that's what depression is depression is basically depressed 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 it's your body asking you to to shed your body's asking you to fucking hit the floor and break down and just be a puddle it's asking you to slow down your body's asking you to i can't do like sarah i can't do this anymore can you please cry a little bit can you break down can you can you take uh, 10 years off from work <laughs> so we can process this can you take a 10 10 year vacation so we can so we can sort of catch up to one another it's basically your body going forward in time but your emotions are stuck saying sarah sarah come wait come back And you feel powerless because it's there's so much of it. I'm think I like I'm guessing I'm feeling like like it's like that. If you say you've always been this person that overcomes everything without actually feeling it, maybe you weren't actually overcoming things. With a lot of people I work with, I tend to see this. Um, I tend to see this need to be seen as strong to be need to seen as always chill always composed always never stirring up any drama never stirring up any difficult things and that a lot of my clients have this and that's like i need to show up for everyone i need to commit to everything i can't say no to nothing because it will make me seem weak and then we go and go and overcommit, and we show up to things and uh, g like give ourselves away to, to things but we don't tend to our inner world our inner emotional state our inner soul we don't connect to ourselves and cry and and be gentle and say i can't do this anymore if it's a job like heidi says for 30 years of, of a job that is draining or stuff like that that actually makes so much sense that's totally me yeah Even men do, men and women, we both do that. With men, it's like, I am the protector of the family, I am not swayed by anything. I am, I am a brick. I need to be this brick or whatever. With women, it's like, I need to be composed, I must not make any drama for anyone. I need to be the good girl, so my family, you know, with, with women, it's mostly... Uh, our your parents telling you oh you're going to your aunt or you're going to your neighbor you need to be a good little girl because it will make our family look bad so these are all things that we that society puts on us and then we never tend to our needs we never look at our emotional stuff and then most probably we suppress it but then we uh, spew that onto other people 
we become internally toxic and then we attract toxic relationships we need to use medication we need to use food addictions uh overdoing anxiety going 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 never coming back into ourselves you know like gentle and for some people that can be devastating for for some people they are so far ahead like i say like the backlog of unprocessed things is so much like 50 years for some people 10, 20 years that if they ever look at it they might die they might you know some people it's it's something that needs to be slowly chipped away at slowly peeling it off and some people can't do it so much time has passed it has calcified as th that backlog the more we take it the more we don't look at it becomes fascia it becomes stuck muscles it becomes it becomes your neck stuck like this it becomes your like arthritis in the fingers because you are you are every time you feel that emotion you go like this with your fingers and then 20 years later you can't move your your hand anymore you can't move your spine anymore the the, the emotion the the burden is actually crushing your physical body into a form that becomes like this in the end but if you release the emotion and uh, 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 Mm. <sighs> then your body's limber again then you can be fluid again 